Wheels production with Abby from Hot Wheels. Hey Hot Wheels fans, my name is Abby and today I'll show you how to assemble the Hot Wheels Colossal Crash track set. Are you ready? Challenge accepted! Colossal Crash, Colossal Fun! This is the biggest motorized playset ever created by Hot Wheels. You can race up to eight cars on the double motorized booster for crazy speed. Adjust the jump ramps to avoid the crash zone or crash head on in the air. Epic crash. Awesome, let's get started. Open the package from the back and pull out the parts. Separate your parts into the three different zones. Zone one, zone two, and zone three. Before we begin assembly, let's warm up by putting some stickers on the set. The arrows and signs will show you the way during the race, so don't miss them. The stickers are on and looking great. Now let's start with zone one with a crash area. This is a very important piece. It's the powerful engine of Colossal Crash where everything starts. You'll need six new deep batteries and a Phillips head screwdriver like these. Do you have them already? If not, no problem. Feel free to pause the video. I'll be waiting here. You got them? Great. Let's insert the six batteries, like this. Make sure they're facing the proper direction. And make sure to close the door properly. Now let's complete the crash zone with these two gray pieces. Let's start with this one, labeled one. On the back, there's an A and a B, which connect to the corresponding A and B here. And now with the second one, same thing. This piece has a number two on the front. On the back, there's an S and a T, which connect to the corresponding S and T here. Just click it into place. Now let's connect the two gray frames. Make sure the J and K on the frame connects to the J and K on the base. Same thing goes for the O and P on this side. And now let's add some fun. We need the two jump ramps. Let's place the orange jump ramp here at the orange lever. Start by raising the lever. This pin threads through the lever. Then you click into place. Now do the same with the green one. Raise the lever, slide the pin through, and click into place. To complete zone one, we need to add the two landing areas. The green landing area goes across from the green ramp. And the orange one in front of the orange ramp. You'll hear a click. Make sure the flap is down so your car doesn't get stuck. We've just completed zone one. Let's keep going. In zone two, we'll take care of the left side of the circuit. Let's grab the orange pieces and connect them together. On the bottom, you'll find an E and an F on each piece. Simply click them together. Pick up and find the G and H on the bottom. We're going to slide them into the gray connector piece here. Your orange track will be on top of your green track. After that, we're going to flip over to add our support pieces. Take your track and flip it upside down so that you can see the letters on the bottom. We're going to start with the piece labeled Z. You can see the Z on the bottom here. It clicks into place. Next, take the part labeled BB and CC. They connect to the track here. Flip the track back over. This will keep the curves in the proper position during your races. Finally, let's prepare the loading ramp. The base piece slides into the orange track. You'll see an arrow where they should slide together. And then the connecting piece slides in on the other side. When that's all ready, click it into place. Just one zone left, zone three. It's similar to zone two, but mirrored. Can you do it without my help? Challenge accepted. Great, see you later. Just kidding, I'll do it with you. Start by grabbing the track pieces. The green track should be on top. Grab the big green piece with the gray connector. On the bottom, you'll find it labeled X and W. Slide those pieces into the corresponding parts of the track. Flip the track over to connect your support pieces. 
the single base support has a letter Y. You'll click it into place here. The double support labeled AADD clicks into the track over here. Flip it back over and we'll add the loading ramp. Grab the three pieces here. Just like on the other side, the arrow slides into the green track. And then the connecting base slides in on the other side. Your loading ramp is ready to go and you click it into place. You're almost done. It's time for final assembly. Take zone two and connect it to the crash area platform. Now do the same thing with zone three. Great, now it's all set and we're ready to start racing. Load up your vehicles on the launch ramp. It's up to you when to enter the tracks by pushing down on the access lever. Now that you've practiced, test your timing skills by moving the jump ramps. Try to avoid the crash or epically crash. Epic crash. So fun. Once you finish playing and want to store it away, all you've got to do is fold it up. Start by folding in the loading ramp. Then disconnect the gray pieces in the back and fold at the hinge in the front. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Fold in the loading ramp, disconnect the gray pieces, and fold at the hinge. Awesome job. Thanks for following along. Enjoy playing with your Hot Wheels Colossal Crash. The Hot Wheels Colossal Crash track set comes with two vehicles. Other vehicles each sold separately. Batteries not included, adults assemble. A Hot Wheels production.